The gorgeous hitmaker stayed at her local boyfriend's pad in North London as she performed in the UK, for the first time in two years. Jo Alwyn reportedly travelled from New York with her over the weekend after he was spotted by her side, at iHeart's Jingle Bell Ball in Madison Square Garden on Friday. The private couple have been dating for a year now after Joe's The Favourite co-star Emma Stone introduced them. They have been struggling to find the right balance between their private life and Taylor's high-profile status as she continues to build her empire. A source told me, Joe is keen to keep their relationship away from prying eyes but at the same time, loves to support Taylor when he can. They are both committed to the relationship, and hope that people can respect their privacy. Taylor, Swift in pictures. Taylor Swift looks sensational in her sexiest photos ever. YouTube Joe is keen to keep their relationship away from prying eyes but at the same time loves to support Taylor when he can. Source Taylor reportedly spent a lot of time staying with a shy actor in the summer to get in some one-on-one -on -one moments before her mammoth reputation world tour kicks off in May. And she has been rumoured to be looking at houses in the capital city over the past few weeks. Last night, Swifty, with Ed Sheeran in attendance, gave fans a taste of what's to come on to where she worked, her way through the No One album at London's O2 Arena. But the highlight of her time in London was the snow. She gushed, guys it snowed today. That's all, I've been talking about all day. She performed it such as ready for it. Look what you made me do in blank space for 30 minutes with, non-stop twerk like dancing. Taylor will bring the Reputation World Tour to the UK in June a new workout, regime has given Louisa Johnson a confidence boost. Showing off her toned figure in a pair of daring, see-through trousers, the X Factor winner admitted she does not actually enjoy the gym workouts. She said, I never went to the gym until two months ago. It wasn't about my body, I just wanted to feel healthier. James Arthur drew some chuckles from the crowd as he took to the stage on Saturday, as many fans noticed his flies were undone. Seemingly oblivious to his exposed underpants, James performed his entire set without zipping them up. But rather than being an embarrassing mishap, it turned out to be a dare issued by Capital FM presenter, Roman Kemp. I forgot all about the flies challenge, ended up flying low the whole set. James tweeted afterwards. Why image no one DJ Jax Jones has all about his extravagant Asian wedding? The Breathe hitmaker got married, in a ceremony fit for a king. Jax told me, I'm off the market ladies, I'm sorry. We got married out in Thailand in the mountains. We had water buffaloes greeting the guests as they came in, and then the most amazing pool party is the after party. Everyone ended up in the pool suited and booted. Jax's single breathe, featuring Emma Rolson, is out now. His debut album Trouble lives up to its name, Matt Terry it's inspired by Bother in his love life. 
The 2015 X Factor winner has a pragmatic approach to heartbreak, however, saying he thinks his own experience is karma for hurting a past girlfriend. He said, when I was 16 years old, I was with this girl for a year and I wasn't feeling it anymore. The same happened to me but the other way round. I was getting my heart broken, it's karma. While some stars partied after their Jingle Bell Ball performance, Sam Smith seemed to have worked up an appetite. Dressed in a robe, Sam posed with a room service trolley in his hotel. Two jugs of coffee and two dinner plates suggested Sam had been enjoying a slap-up meal with a companion, perhaps his boyfriend Brandon Flynn. Or he could have been trying out for a new career as a porter, in which case I'd suggest the uniform next to him. Marilyn Manson, Wembley Arena, London Of all the get-ups Marilyn has worn during his career, a medical boot was perhaps the most shocking. The 48-year-old's leg was broken in two places when a stage prop fell on him in September. While mobility was limited, the star's ability to put on a show wasn't. His appearance, being pushed around in a wheelchair and gurney by people in green scrubs, gave the production an effectively unhinged feel. Few touches, however, could be as effective as bringing out his old pal Johnny Depp, who moodily played guitar on the dope show in Manson's musical calling card The Beautiful People. After fans caught Niall Horan singing along to Dua Lipa's new rules last week, the 1D star has confessed to being a huge fan. Niall said, New Rules has to be one of my favorite songs at the moment. Meanwhile, Niall wants to work with Justin Bieber on a fundraising single for the victims of the California fires. He we both live in LA. If he needs a hand with something I would love to give him a hand. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.